All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x to the power of three is equal to x to the power of five. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. What I'm first gonna do is subtract x to the power of five on both sides. So I get x to the power of three minus x to the power of five is equal to zero. Now from here, I can rewrite x to the power of five as x to the power of three plus two. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So x to the power of three plus two is gonna equal x to the power of three times x to the power of two. Now from here, what I can do is factor out x to the power of three because this is in both terms. So I get x to the power of three times one minus x squared is equal to zero. So now this gives me two equations. I get x to the power of three is equal to zero and one minus x squared is equal to zero. For x to the power of three equals zero, x is equal to zero. And for one minus x squared is equal to zero, I can add x squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out and get x squared is equal to one. Now if I take the square root, I get x is equal to positive or negative one. So these are my three solutions to this equation. 0, 1, and negative 1.